together again. I'm looking at the example. A cricket ball, after being bowled, moves through the air with a momentum of 7 kilograms meter per second east. The batsman hits it in the opposite direction so that the ball's momentum changes to 10 kilograms meter per second west. Now for this question, you have to go and draw a vector diagram. And it needs to show initial momentum, uh, final momentum, as well as the change in momentum. So what we do here is we firstly use our formula. Our formula here is the change in P equals P final minus P initial. And now remember that we have to assign direction. So I'm going to say east is positive for this question. So when I want to calculate my change in P, I take P final, which was 10 kilograms meter per second west, because it's west, it becomes negative 10. And then I subtract the positive 7 from it. And this gives me a value of negative 17 kilograms meter per second. Now that negative doesn't mean that it's a negative value, remember it's a vector. So it's actually telling me that it's 17 kilograms meter per second west. Now, the important part when you draw this vector diagram and follow these rules. You have to start with the longest between PI or the change in P. So when I look at my answers, I see the change in P is the largest. It's 17 kilograms meter per second west. So I'm going to draw a vector, which means a line in a certain direction with an arrow. It's going to be to the left and it's going to have a size of 17 kilograms meter per second west. Then I go and I draw PI after that. So PI was plus 7 kilograms meter per second. That's going to be my second vector that I draw. And this value of 7 is PI. Now, to get PF correct on your vector diagram, we start from the beginning of our first vector and we draw a line to the end of our last vector and we see that we get PF as a line that's pointing towards the left which means west and it will have a value of 10 kilograms meter per second or negative 10. But be careful when you draw uh, vector diagrams using momentum. Here are the steps again. Firstly you start with the longest between PI or change in P. If you don't have PI or change in P you have to use the formula change in P equals PF minus PI. So then between those three, change in P, PI, and PF, you just focus on change in P or PI, and you determine which one is the largest. Then you look at your direction, you draw that vector. Right underneath it, you draw your second vector, and then using the fail to get method, you connect the two by starting at the beginning of the first one to the end of the last one. And that will also give you the correct direction for PF.